Advancing down the wicket on Cricket 22 is actually quite simple. The tricky part is learning how to use the shot effectively. So today on Welcome to Gaming, I'm going to teach you how to advance down the wicket on Cricket 22. Now to do this, as I say, it's fairly simple. There's no complex input to do the shots. You literally click in the R3 stick. Once this is done, you'll notice your batter's stance change slightly where they'll lift the back of the bat up more. This means they are ready to advance down the wicket. So that's the simple part. The tricky part is to know exactly what situations are best to use this shot in. Now you can play these against some pace bowling, maybe some of the more slower deliveries or the medium paces, but I actually don't recommend it. I think that there's other better shots to use in those situations than advancing down the wicket, but it is possible. Personally, I really only use advanced down the wicket shots against spin bowlers. Especially those deliveries that are slightly to the off or leg side. Usually the off side is the best for me though. Timing is absolutely crucial with advanced down the wicket shots on Cricket 22. If you get this slightly wrong, even if you only get it like in the good timing, you can lose your wicket. It's kind of an all or nothing kind of shot. Once you do start getting the timing down though, oh my god, these shots go absolute miles. If you're hitting these with ideal timing, they can clear the stadium sometimes. The advance down the wicket shot can be really, really handy in power play situations. It can be really handy later on in the game when you're out of a power play and you're trying to find some room somewhere to score some boundaries. I think for the timing for this shot, you kind of have to attempt to hit the ball like as it's hitting the ground there's like a slight difference to the timing with it again and similar to other tutorials that i've done it's all about practicing to find the timing for these shots i recommend going into a net session or the training at the ground i think the training at the ground is maybe better because you get to see the effect of where the ball's gonna fly off to and i suggest practicing here for a little while, maybe just spend, you know, an hour, half an hour, an hour, just trying this out, going against some random spin and seeing if you can get the timing down. Sometimes it's still not enough, even if you do get the timing absolutely spot on. As you can see here, I got the timing pretty good, but it does still end up being caught. So it's just again about knowing when to play these shots. But the advance down the wicket shot can be extremely useful, certainly in the T20 I found it to be one of the shot types that really helps me out in the short format of cricket. You must be very careful as well, this shot is the prime one that will get you stumped if you miss the delivery, if your timing is off and it goes through to the wicket keeper, your batsman is so far down the wicket that you are going to get stumped. If this happens, quickly start hammering the circle button to try and get him to go back into his crease as quickly as possible. It has saved me a couple of times, but very, very rarely. So yeah, you must get your timing right. Otherwise you're gonna get caught or you're gonna get stumped. So have I helped you out today with this Cricket 22 tips and tricks video? If I have, please do leave a like. Why not subscribe and maybe come and watch some more Cricket 22 content here on Welcome to Gaming. And I'll see you in the next video.